Hi you guys, welcome back to yet again another video of mine. You're watching Amun here on the Tall Beauty. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. As you guys can see from the title of the video, today we are going to be doing a autumn haul. First of all, grab yourselves a warm cuppa, coffee, tea, be it hot chocolate, whatever you need. We have been shopping since the end of July and I am super, super excited. So the first shop I popped into was the range. So this I absolutely loved. It wasn't like in your face autumn because I was trying to get away from like the pumpkin era. Although I do have a lot of like pumpkin-y bits in my haul. But I wanted to get away from like a lot of orange this year. So this was the first thing I saw. And I'm not gonna lie, I really loved this like pampasy feel to it. The only thing is like a lot of the pieces are falling off, so I'm just wondering how this is gonna be in the wind. This I am maybe thinking to have on my front door, so this was the first piece I picked up from the range. And then I picked up this orange blossom potpourri. Um, I have just seen all of the stuff which I bought is really neutral and beigey, greygey colors. So I kind of felt like I need to incorporate some sort of orange into my decor. So I picked up this orange blossom potpourri. It's really nice and it smells really nice. There were some open packets. You always have to do a smell test prior to buying. So I picked up some of these and I thought this would be great for maybe like where my hallway is. As soon as you enter the house, it would just be nice to get a whiff of these like straight away. It will just smell really, really nice and plus, my whole area is very beige, greyish, so I thought this would be perfect in there. I then found this beautiful, like, leafy plate. I don't know if this is, like, their autumn edition or it's just one of the plates that they have, but it is this beautiful, like, pas not pastel but, like, this sagey, washed green, and I just love the colour of it. It's not green. It's like it incorporates into like the greyies, greenies. Next stop was Tesco's. Now Tesco's had some nice stuff as well. Again, everything was very orange in your face. Um, I did pick up something orange though, and I picked up these. My God, these smell absolutely amazing. So these are mandarin, clove, and amber wax melts. I would honestly recommend that you guys go and get these from Tesco's. These were for £3, you get four wax melts. I never bought any more wax melts because if any of you guys use wax melts in your house, so one wax melt will get you so far. So I thought four will be perfect for autumn. So I got these autumnal wax melts. Like I said, super cute, orange, in love. I then picked up this little cute little leaf. I think this is actually for like tea bags. Majority like of people would use this for tea bags. They had a little mushroom like spoon dish for when you're cooking, you can put your spoon dish on there. But I actually really like the leaf one. I wasn't a fan of the mushroom one. But I thought this would be super cute because by my stove, I always have a spoon holder or a spoon dish, which I can always put in the, um, the cutleries or the spoons or my wooden spoon when I'm cooking. So I thought this will be so perfect next to the stove and give my kitchen that little lovely autumn feel. So I picked up a set of these. So I've actually got two sets. I've got another pair downstairs. So I've got another bowl and another plate. Um, they're just downstairs because I actually kind of already used them. I just felt that autumn feel yesterday. I cooked myself a lovely roast dinner and I really wanted to have this cute little plate with it. So these are like this beautiful like greyish plate. And I don't know, I just love, they've got this little brown rim to it. I thought this will be so cute for when I do um, little meals or when I do like porridge or some Weetabix. I don't eat Weetabix, but if I do porridge and stuff like that, because I always feel like around spring, summer is when you start having some of your smoothie bowls, but around the winter time, and I love oats, when you come back from the gym, a nice bowl of oats with a little bit of banana on the side or something is really nice. And then I got these plates. I got a set of two, one for me, one for Jiggy. Um, again, I thought I love this time of the year. Lots of roast dinners. Um, I call this the cozy food season where you just want cozy comfort food. 
So the next place I popped into was the range. So the first thing I picked up were these cute little pumpkins. They are like the perfect colour. They're nothing that's in your face. They're very subtle. They're very cute. I love like the washed out orange and the little brownie over here. So these were super cute and I thought these would be really nice to go somewhere in the house as well. I then picked up more of these matchsticks. I love these matchsticks. Uh, they just come with this wooden thing over here and this over here. So just to light my candles around the house. I currently have two of these, but I always feel like I'm using them like in the bathroom or somewhere else. So I thought I'd get one for downstairs because that was the one that I didn't have. So this year I actually haven't bought many candles. I mean, I've got the wax melts. Um, I've got this candle here. Um, I have a lot of bigger sized candles in, you know, all shapes and forms. So I picked up one teeny tiny candle like this. I just thought this was super cute. I just thought I'm sure somewhere in the loft I've got bigger pumpkin candles. So this by the bigger one standing together. And I know a lot of those ones are like your beige or your white. So I thought a nice little orangey one sitting next to that one would look really nice. Then whilst about to walk out of TK Maxx, so this cute little banana bread dish, I was like, mmm, this is cute. I again was like, oh, do they not have this in a grey gray version? Um, but no, they didn't. They just had one of these in like an orange and I thought, you know what? It's fine, it's autumn, you can have some orange things in the house. But I love cooking like banana breads and just different kinds of dishes. Um, I want to try and cook something other than banana bread this year because I always go to banana breads. But I thought this was super cute to do some baking in. You know, you could just make some stuff. You can even make, um, what is it, a rocky road. This was the next thing I picked up. I then picked up this beautiful candle here. Now, this is super cute. I mean, just look at this with the little bow at the top and the little rustic, like, um tin jar absolutely love it this was for 8.99 and this smells of praline butter honestly guys so nice anything with like pumpkin spice or pumpkin butter praline butter all of those kind of things smell really nice and what i really loved about this is i don't know if you guys can see it from here but it's got this really cute little autumn leaf there which just makes it Super cute. I think something like this I might display in my bathroom or I might display this in my passageway as people walk into my house because I just find this is such a cute autumn candle. I want people to be able to see this candle as they walk into the house or somewhere where they spend more than like a second. Like when they come into my kitchen, they might not just be able to see it. I want this candle to be seen. I then, you guys will see um, as I go through the next part in the video, I picked up some tea towels, but again, I picked up like a grazy um, tea towel. So I was like, okay, this is too much gray. Like we need to incorporate some orange into our lives. So I picked up these um, tea towels here. Now they're just like that perfect. They're not in your face, but they add a little bit of autumnal into your house and a little bit of warmth back into the house. So this says, hello fall. I was hoping I could get something that says autumn because obviously it's autumn here, but these are super cute. It says, um, hello autumn, which I thought would be really cute. So again, just to have like one of these on top of the oven and they come in a set of two as well. And I love the fact that they're both the same. They're both the same. Because then I feel like when you put one into the wash, you've got the second one, which is the same. I do like to have the same thing. So even if I am washing something, I'll always have multiple of the same towels, just so once one goes, there's never um, something different and it just stays the same. The last thing I picked up from TK Maxx was this huge chunky thing. Uh, this was just so cute. They actually had um, a, like a couple of versions of these. There was another one that just had like a cute little coffee cup. That one was um, pumpkin, ca pumpkin caramel syrup, sugar-free pumpkin caramel syrup. I picked up this one. This is the zero calories, zero sugar, pumpkin spice and everything nice. So this is a pumpkin spice latte um, syrup. So that one was the pumpkin caramel, which I feel like would have been nicer because it was a kick of caramel taste in there. 
This one is a pumpkin spice latte, so let's see how this one pans out. I then popped over to Next, and I'm not gonna lie, Next had some amazing things. In my autumn haul, you guys just did not see enough of autumn because I think I went into Next like early August and now if you go into Next, they have a lot more of the autumn stuff. But I did see these Hello Pumpkin coasters. I thought they were so cute. They're wooden ones as well. So if you guys have seen my um, kitchen tour, then you guys will know I've got a lot of like woodeny stuff um, like incorporated into my kitchen. So I thought these wooden um, coasters would be super, super cute. And they just come with this little thing that you can just slot them into as well. Also, one thing I forgot to, from um, TK Maxx was this huge like woven, woven, I never know how to say it. But this like woven um, tray over here, it looks huge, but our island, our kitchen island is very large. Um, so small things often, like medium sized things often look lost on the island. So I picked up this huge tray. At the moment I have got two like wooden glass jars there, which I usually keep my cakes in, which I will probably still find a home for somewhere in the kitchen. But I thought a tray in the middle of the island, possibly maybe on the dining table, somewhere in the house, I just thought this tray would look so cute. I then popped to a garden center and I picked up a whole bunch of these autumnal leaves. Even though my wreath is pampas, I wanted to get away from pampas because if you had pampas in your house, you guys will understand how messy pampas grass is. You move it from A to B, that's it. You've got a whole load of like, fluffy flowers everywhere. So these are completely like faux. So I picked up a whole bunch of these flowers. Don't get me wrong, these were quite dear. Uh, for example, these were for $6.99. I picked up two of the $6.99 faux flowers. And then I picked up um, three of these ones. So they had these with like white or was it orange or the they had green so they had some green in this as well i tried to put the green together but the green just looked really really odd especially because i don't know the green just looked really odd because i was trying to do green and brown so i kind of thought to myself i should stick to one or the other so i ended up taking the brown ones from the garden center i picked up this friend over here um, so this bad boy was a little bit dear on price guys because this one actually, this my friend cost me um, about £50 but when I did like online research, I tried to look everywhere, I honestly couldn't find another urn like this. The ones H&M stored as well, they were around 50 60 as well so I kind of just thought you know what, if this is just going to set me back, I'm just going to get this. But these flowers, honestly, like in here, I obviously need to sort the stems out properly. Because obviously I need to just sort them all out. But once you see this, obviously, like I said, we will sort them out. But this just looks super cute. I mean, just look at the way this just sits. I then also picked up this cute little spoon from the garden center as well. So one thing I didn't mention which I picked up from uh, um, TK Maxx was this beautiful thing over here. So I don't know if you guys from my videos have seen, I have a coffee jar which sits on my worktop with my um, wooden chopping boards but just next to there, the original jar I have is a lot bigger to, than this one. So I'm gonna see how long like I can work with this jar or what I'm gonna do. But I just thought it would be super cute because this is actually a jar that you just open and you can store some coffee in there. So I thought this would be really good just to put on the worktop around the autumn time. And then again, just have my coffee in there. And then obviously, that is the reason why I brought this little scoop because I was like, rather than using a teaspoon or something, I can just use this scoop to scoop up my coffee and they'll just go really well just sat together. And then talking of chopping boards and worktop areas, I wasn't going to 
see autumn go by without having a autumn inspired chopping board so i picked up this cutie over here which is from home bargains this is actually one of the only things i picked up from home bargains home bargains never really had a lot of autumn stuff that will inspire me and b and as well i found i didn't like anything i saw there but when i saw this at b and i really really liked it it's a good like surface size as well and the last shop which i popped into was matlan now matlan i'm not gonna lie it had some great autumnal stuff as well first thing i picked up was some oven gloves these are super cute i just thought again like around Autumn, you just need autumn inspired stuff in the house. So oven gloves were a must. And then I picked up the set of um, tea towels. These are very similar, like the matching set to this one. The only thing I don't like about these tea towels is exactly what I was speaking about. The other tea towels is that these are very like three different styles. So you've got a pumpkin one, you've got a plain one. And you've got this one, which is cute because if you're just styling these two together, you can just put the plain one with the pumpkin one. But I definitely think I will probably be doing the one and then this next to each other or something like that. Then the last thing I picked up from Matalan was this lovely cup over here, which was for £5. Just that pumpkin-y style cup. Um, again, I didn't want anything that's was too orangey or in your face and I didn't want those typical like ceramic mugs so I thought this one was super cute so this is the one I picked up from Matalan but this is it guys this was everything which I have purchased for autumn this year uh well so far I thought I had a lot of stuff for autumn and now that I've done a haul I'm like there is so much that I am missing, um, but no, I'm going to get myself into that loft and I'm going to pull together everything I have collected over the last like three or four years, throw away stuff that I don't need anymore, that I don't think I'll be using and just have all of the stuff which I am going to be using this year. But I just wanted to say welcome to the autumn season with Amun. I am looking forward to having so many autumnal videos with you guys and just doing so much autumn stuff. So I am super excited for the next upcoming couple of months. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please do subscribe to my channel because we are going to be having a lot of autumn fun. But thank you so much, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I shall see every single one of you in my next one. Bye, guys.